Hello and welcome. Today I want to show you how to import multiple Character Creator 4 characters into Unreal Engine 5 at the same time and then allow them to share animations. Right then, we begin today inside Unreal Engine 5. And now I have from my previous tutorial this folder content character cc4 in here i also have the mannequins etc in cc4 though i'm going to create a new folder and i want to call this common like so and i'm going to open up the common folder and i'm going to create a new folder and call this rigs now the rigs folder is going to be used to place our shared skeleton because that is what we're going to create we're going to share a skeleton between all our characters. So back in our CC4 folder, I'm now going to import. So I go to import. And for today's tutorial, this is where I have them all stored. We're going to import all these characters all at once, just to show you it can be done. So if you've got lots of ca characters, NPCs, whatever, you can do it this way. So let me select Dave. Dawn, John, Kevin, and Sarah. All I'm doing is selecting the FBX files for each one of these. And I'm going to hit open. And we'll get this dialog. I'm choosing high quality shader because I'm using CC4 characters or CC3 or CC3 plus. And hit OK. And when the dialog box pops up, here it is. I'm going to make sure in skeleton I have it set to none and that's correct that's correct in advanced again select all these today I'm going to unselect import mesh LODs I don't need them today but normally you would have that tick but to speed up the tutorial I am unchecking this so there's only going to be one level of detail Make sure TO was reference pros, yep, and morph targets, all good. And uncheck animations, we don't want any animations today. Or oh, at this part at least, and then hit import all. Every now and again during the import process, you will get the iClone auto setup plugin window pop up when that happens which i'll hopefully show you in a moment just click ok and it should then continue like this just hit ok and carry on with your characters now imported the next step is crucial save all and what this will do is save the assets you've just created, obviously, and we're going to be making changes to them, so they need to be saved. Right, so we've imported all of these, and we have a lot now. So what I want to do next is create a folder, call it Mesh, like so. And I'm going to take every single Mesh and Physics asset, like so. just the mesh and the physics asset and i'm going to drag those into mesh move here okay and then next as you will see we have five different skeletons each one or the different character what i'm going to do is just take one of them and I'm going to rename this to CC4 Common. You could just name it CC4 if you want, but there we go. So it's called CC4 Common. Now what we can do is select the rest of the skeletons, like so. Hit Delete. And this dialog will pop up. As long as you've saved all, you will get the option to replace references. From here, 
choose CC4 common, the one we've just renamed. Replace references. And we'll hit OK. And it'll ask you to save. Save all. There we go. And then what we're going to do now is take that CC4 common skeleton and we want to place it in this common rigs folder. So we can do that from this side, find the common folder and rigs there. So drag that skeleton into your common rigs folder, move here. There we go. You now have a common skeleton that is shared between all your characters. Next, we just need to do a little bit of cleanup in this folder. And it's all these folders that have FPM. What we need to do is go into each one of those. And I, I think in the common folder as well, we're going to create textures. So new folder, textures. Like so. And what we need to do is just grab all these folders, like so, the ones that say FBM after them. And then we're just going to drag those to our common textures folder. Move here. And there are some textures here. Which are these ones? And we're going to grab all those. So we're in CC4 textures. And I'm going to drag those across to our common textures folder as well. Move here. And there we go. Now we can get rid of that textures folder. And we now have this SSS profiles. And we're going to take that and these two te uh, textures here and drag those over to our common textures folder as well. And that's it. These are the three folders here are for a separate tutorial, so ignore them. So in this folder now we have a common, a materials and a mesh. I'm actually going to drag our materials into our common folder. And so all we're left with is a common and a mesh, like so. So that's it, basically. Now you have an organized folder. And in here, you have all your characters and the physics asset. You can even go further and you can create a folder inside the mesh folder and call this physics, like so. And select all those physics assets and drag those into the physics folder. Move here. And then you can take that physics folder and drag that to common as well. And that's it. All you're left with is mesh files in your mesh folder. In the common folder, you have your materials, physics, rigs and textures. And that's it. So now when we open up our character, here's character one, here is character two, here is character three, here is character four, and what looks like a duplicate, uh, but it's not, it's slightly differently morphed character number five. And that's it. They now all share the same skeleton. So you can click on the skeleton icon and you can choose the preview mesh here. Look, so Dawn, John, Kevin, Sarah, like so. Now go, we'll go one step further and we'll create an animations folder and we will import an animation just so you can use it on all your characters. So new folder, animations, like so. 
I'm just going to move these three folders for the other tutorial into an, another folder just to get them out of waste to avoid confusion. There we go. It's a little easier for you to see now what we've done. So we have a mesh folder, a common folder, an animation. Go into animation and now we're going to import an animation. So I'm going to right click import to game and then let me find an animation. Here we have it from a previous tutorial, walk in place. Let's do that. Open it up. This import dialog pops up in skeleton. This time we can choose our CC4 common skeleton and we want to uncheck import mesh. We only want the animations. And again, from the previous tutorial, uncheck use default sample rate and set the custom sample rate to 60. Uh, there is a bug that means I've got to do that. And then I think we're all fine now. And we're just going to hit import. And so if we open, we were going to save all quickly. It just helps. And there we go. So that's our animation we've just imported. We can change the preview mesh to one of our other characters. And that's it. It's as simple as that. You now have a common skeleton where you can now import animations that will work on any one of your preview meshes from Character Creator. If you would like to support the channel, you can go to the link in the description and buy me a coffee from buymeacoffee.com. Alternatively, you can click the thanks button underneath this video and help that way. More tutorials are on the way, but for now, could you please hit the like and subscribe button and comment below with any questions. I will see you in the next one.